So that is it. That is Arlo's Easter basket. Welcome back to the vlog. Um, I'm going to show you the rest of the story stones and um, I finally got them all painted so here they are. Okay guys, I can't believe I'm saying this, but it's almost time for Easter. We went Sunday and picked out Arlo's Easter outfit, and I can't wait for you guys to see it. It's super cute, but I'm going to wait till day of to show you. In the meantime, I thought we could put Arlo's Easter basket together, and you could see what we got him to put in there. So here we go. Okay, so first off, this is his Easter basket this year. It's, it's actually a basket I've had for a while that his um, Gigi gave me, his great grandma. And I just thought it looked really cute and would be perfect to go with his Easter outfit. So this is the one we're gonna use this year. And then I've just got some yellow grass that I had left over from a project I did for Children's Church. So I'm gonna throw that in the bottom. And then it's got kind of a creative thing going on. So I got him these cute, I found these cute, really colorful, pretty chalk eggs at Ross. So those are gonna go in there. And I may have to finesse this once I get everything out. And I also got him this set of little plaster bunnies to decorate. Let's see on the back maybe. They're very cute and I think he'll have a lot of fun with that. So that is for his Easter basket as well. His Easter basket's getting full in a hurry. These two big guys, they may just go on the shelf next to his Easter basket. <laughs> we'll see what we can fit in. I did get him a little bit of candy, but not a lot, because he's, he'll have a lot of candy in his Easter eggs at church, and um, when we go Easter egg hunting at my sister's house, so just a little bit of candy. I got him these party cake peeps, because it's just not Easter without peeps. I don't care what you say. Put those right there. And then he has been eating these Mike and Ikes 
with his dad and loves them. Every day when his dad gets home, um, he'll say, ready. And that's supposed to be Morgan's cue to go get the Mike and Ikes because he's ready for some candy. So I got him his own Mike and Ikes. And then I got him, of course, a, a bunny, a chocolate Easter bunny. This one is white chocolate cookies and cream. And I also got him this book. He's got several of these how to catch books. He's got how to catch a Yeti, how to catch an elf, how to catch a mermaid. He may have others. I can't remember. I feel like he does. Um, I know we checked out how to catch a dragon this year and read it. But I got him How to Catch the Easter Bunny. Let's put that at the back. Let's see if we can. There. Put that there. And then... him Walmart had these guys on clearance and I just thought they were springy and fun and a little different than an Easter bunny you know I feel like getting the same stuffy I want to get him a stuffy every year but I feel like getting in the same stuffy you know an Easter bunny every year um, is a little boring so I tried to get him something different last year I got him this pea pod thing it was like a zippable pod that uh, was like a sleeve for two little stuffed peas and so he really enjoyed that and learning how to use the zipper and stuff this year I got we got him this little mushroom it's a uh, living on the veg and they had several different ones this one's name is Maisie so I'm gonna put Maisie the mushroom right here And then we got him, well, I forgot one of the candies we got him. I just thought this was cute. It is a little candy dispenser bunny, and it bunny poops out the candy. I've seen a lot of bunny poop this year. We also saw a uh, exploding bunny poop, which is like the snaps that you throw down at the 4th of July, but uh, they were calling it exploding bunny poop. I think they were rainbow colored. So we'll put that in there. And then the last thing I got him for his Easter, we got him for his Easter basket is these Crayola Spring Silly Scents. They're eggs with, um, two of them have like Crayola brand Play-Doh. Two of them have like kinetic sand and two have slime. I'm going to open the package up and stick the eggs down in there, I think. So yeah, this year's theme was kind of creativity. Everything was, I mean, except for the candy and the bunny, or the stuffy, obviously. But I feel like the stuffy's kind of creative, too. It's kind of tie-dye and fun. Um, but everything was something you could, you know, create with, draw or color or whatever. So... Hmm. I still gotta get two more. We'll put them in the back. Two more eggs in there. And then a mic and eggs. 
So that is it. That is Arlo's Easter basket. And then like I said, I'll put these guys on the credenza on each side of the Easter basket. Okay guys, so that's it for today's vlog. If you like these videos and you want to see more, please consider hitting the subscribe button for me. Um, also, if you could go down and give this video a like or maybe drop a comment, that would really help me out. And we will see you guys later.